So I've got a really bad duck problem. So bad that there has been thousands of poos been left on my golf green daily from ducks just turning away. So I think I've found a solution, grape flavored Kool-Aid. So today we're gonna try this out on the green and see if it prevents those cheeky ducks from pooing everywhere. I didn't believe it at first when I heard this, but someone tagged me um, on something in Twitter to say that there's some turf managers over in the States actually using this product to stop geese from turning all around their greens next to ponds and dams and those kind of things. And I did not believe it, so I had to Google it myself. And if you Google just Kool-Aid and ducks or Kool-Aid and birds, like university articles come up on the internet talking about this working to help deter the birds, which is just <laughs> ridiculous. I think it's pretty old technology from like they used to do it back in the 90s. But supposedly it really, really does work, which is just mind blowing. But I've actually got just one of the bigger, like I don't know, you can't get this in Australia, so I had to buy this on eBay, um, but this big container. So I'm gonna throw this whole thing in for this whole green, which is about 500 square meters or 5,000 square feet if you're in the States, around about that. That's just a, a guesstimate. Um, but the, the active in it that actually deters the ducks is that grape smell, that grape flavor, um, which is methyl and thranolate. So that's what's gonna knock it. You can actually buy that as a product by itself, but why not try the Kool-Aid? Give it a crack, pretty inexpensive as well. So we're gonna spray it on today and see what happens. But so you guys can see, just proof that they poop absolutely everywhere. Like there is so many poos here. It is absolutely ridiculous. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but it's crazy, like every couple of steps. And this is better than it has been too. Like this actually isn't that bad. So to get the little poos off here, I've just been using a blower to get them off. But shout out to Travis, um, who contacted me online because he knows the problem I've been having with these poops. He sent me this duck poopy collector, which I mean, this could be used for cores as well and a couple of other things. But look at that, man. How good of a job does that do picking up the turds? So we're gonna pick these up now because we're gonna get them off before we spray so we can see if by tomorrow there's been any more poops on here. And we'll do a bit of like, you know, detective work and look outside and see if any ducks come down here to see if they do any, but they always do them overnight and always come down to a minefield every single morning. So let's get it off now, get the job done. There's not too many poos today. I mean, there's enough, as you can see. Still quite a few bits of poop in there. Oh, yum. That's disgusting. Which is nice to see, it has slowed down, but they're still doing their dirty business on the green. So, let's spray this stuff out. So, from what I understand with this product is if it rains, it's gonna wash off the leaf and the smell's gonna go away. So, it's probably not gonna last a long time. We haven't got rain for a couple of days, so at least it'll keep them off for maybe, hopefully up to a week. Depends on how much you're mowing too, because you probably can mow it off as well. Now I've heard people using it on fruit trees um, and lots of other problem areas with other types of birds as well. So it may stop like, you know, crows and other birds causing problems for you on top of that, not just your ducks or your geese or something, pooing somewhere you don't want them to. So the application rate I figured out for per four liters of water, a quarter of this packet. So we have to use this whole packet for this whole area. So you're looking at about, yeah, 16 litres to 20 litres of water with this whole thing, which, how many grams is it? 538 grams or 19 ounces. I've never actually tried Kool-Aid before. Oh, oh smells like Hubba Bubba, bubble gum. All right, let's tip it in, let's have a look. Now, from what I've read online, this is not gonna do any damage to my grass, and if it does, oh my goodness, I'll be frustrated, but it doesn't seem to do any damage from what I've heard. Oh mate, look at that. Smells so good. <laughs> what is that? I think it cost me 10 bucks for one of these, so $10 per application. Which I mean, it's probably not cheap. You probably get a bulk somewhere else, this kind of product, but I'm just interested to see if it works. Now, just so you know, this stuff is not harmful to the birds. They just do not like the smell of it. But obviously, it's not harmful to humans. Oh uh, well, 
you can beg to differ, but <laughs> it's not harmful to us, like it's not toxic, and it's not toxic for the birds. They've also done tests in waterways on fish and everything as well with this product. But yeah, it doesn't do any damage to any of your wildlife, so any of the frogs in the pond, any fish or anything like that. Speaking of ducks, bruh, get out of there. There he is. Oh, you can smell it. Woohoo! Stinky. Mmm, smells good. People driving past knew what I was spraying. Bro. <laughs> what a damn idea. Yeah, but if it works, it works. I'm gonna walk inside and the kids are gonna ask me if they can have some bubble gum or something. Dad, were you having chewy? Nope, I'll spray my green. What do you reckon of the smell, dude? Come here. What do you reckon, does it smell good? You didn't even notice it. Can you smell it? No. It doesn't phase you. I thought you'd be licking the grass for sure. See, hey, nothing. Oh, here we go, he's having a sniff. Oh, that's the duck booby sniffing. Oh, oh, oh. What's the smell like, man? Here we go, he's licking it. <laughs> Does it taste good? Mm. Let's go, come on. So it's the next day, I'm back. Unfortunately, we had about 20 mil of rain last night. So it's all washed off the leaf. And as you can see in the background, there's some poops there. But yesterday, throughout the whole day, I was watching down at the green and a few ducks actually landed on the rye grass. I wish I had filmed it, but had some people over there yesterday afternoon. Um, but they'd just land around the outside <laughs> and they'd walk on the green and then they'd walk off. There was a couple of poos on the edge because they'd actually nip on the rye grass on the edge and not the bent grass where I sprayed. So I de it definitely did work. And this morning there was no poos on here. I just had to be out somewhere this morning so I didn't actually get a chance to film down here but it definitely did work. But it goes to show you how many poos they can do in just a couple of hours of hanging out down here. Like, they just, they're just cheeky. Absolutely cheeky. But I have no doubt that worked. The only problem is, and the downside is, as soon as it rains, like the product is gone. So it feels kind of like a wasted application. Say if you did this on some fruit trees or something, or something that's maybe a little bit more sheltered, it's probably not really gonna be a big problem for you, but for me here on this golf green where I'm mowing it all the time, you don't really want to be coming out um, and doing an application every couple of days if you can avoid it. So there's gotta be a different way to do it. So it's probably time to try something else. I have heard that using like owl statues works. So I've got to get, I've still, I've said this ages ago, I need to go get it from my brother's work. He's actually got an owl statue there. That might deter them for a week or two, but I'm sure they'll get used to it after a bit. Scarecrows, people have told me, people have actually told me laser lights, like those Christmas laser lights work really well. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm still gonna use the cool eggs. I've still got like another six <laughs> of the containers there. So I need to use it all up. I just bought it off eBay. Yeah, we're supposed to get rain here and there. So if I can apply it, when there's not as much rain. It'll definitely gonna work for me, it's just we had a, a, that amount of rain last night which we weren't supposed to get, and then we got it. We've just been getting heaps and heaps of rain lately. That's why I haven't been able to work on my fairways or my irrigation for the next parts of this path three, because it just keeps raining. Schnitty, are you eating that, dude? Does it taste good? Is that good, poopoos? Bras. Why? So do I think that was worth it? No, not for me, it wasn't really worth it. I probably am not gonna buy any more of that stuff. Um, I'm gonna try a few different ways to deter them. Try and get on top of it, as I said. But I think if you had something that you're not mowing all the time, like some fruit, fruit trees or some, I don't know, something in your garden that the ducks or crows or sparrows or something are getting into, definitely a way to deter them. Like I even saw some magpies land on here yesterday afternoon and they just flew straight away. Like they really don't like the smell of that methylanthranolate, so. It's good to know, but just don't do it when there's rain about. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. Appreciate yours. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching me fail with that. Oh well, it worked, but then the rain stuffed it up. So, you know, it's good to see where it does and doesn't work and fits, but appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you very soon.